In the last video, we talked about the rules for multiplying and dividing integers, and we also started practicing with multiplying integers. In this video, we're going to be multiplying more than two integers together, and we'll see that there really is no difference. As long as you follow the rule, then you will be just fine. So we have our first problem here that says negative 2 times 3 times negative 7. Well, we cannot, we don't have a rule that says multiplying three things together, here's what you do. Instead, our rules always focus on just handling two things at a time. So let's handle just the first two things, and then we'll worry about the next one. So when we multiply negative 2 times 3, let's just multiply the numbers together first, so that would be 6. And now let's focus in on uh, the signs. We have opposite signs, one is negative and the other is positive, so our answer will be negative. Now we still have to take and multiply that to the third item, which is the negative 7. In this case, we just go ahead and multiply the two numbers together, so six, uh, negative 6 times negative 7, just multiply 6 times 7 would be 42, and then we can worry about the signs. Our signs in this case are the same which means that our answer should be positive, so it would be positive 42. In our next example, we have 10 times negative 5 times 0 times negative 7. So here again, let's just look at the first two um, items first. We'll multiply things two at a time. So let's first multiply the 10 times negative 5. Doing the numbers first, 10 times 5 would be 50. And now let's look at the signs. We have a positive multiplied to a negative. The signs are opposite, so the answer should be negative. And then we can continue multiplying to everything else. But now here again, we can only multiply two things at a time. So when we multiply 50 times 0, well that's 0. Because it's 0, we don't even have to worry about a sign, because remember, 0 is neither positive nor negative. It's just 0, that's all. And if we go ahead and multiply 0 times our negative 7 that we have left, isn't 0 times anything just 0? So really, if we're multiplying, that's all we have is multiplication. If there is a 0 as a multiplier in there, the answer will automatically be 0. Now, if you needed to carry it out and continue it, you certainly could. Our last one here, which is a little bit hard to see, it's negative 2 times negative 1 times 3 times negative 2. So here again, we're going to multiply the first two items first. 2 times 1 would be 2, and because this is a negative times a negative, those signs are the same, our answer would be positive. So now we have 2 times 3 times negative 2, and here again, we're just going to focus on two things at a time. So 2 times 3 would be 6. Since the signs are the same, both of them are positive, then the answer would be positive. But we still have to multiply it to the negative 2. 6 times 2 would be 12. And now look at our signs here. We have a positive and a negative. Those are opposite signs. Opposite signs, the answer is always negative. So our answer would be negative 12.